Hey everyone and welcome back to this Wikipedia. Today we're going to be doing an engine oil flush. Uh, now a few things to note before we even get started. Most modern engine oils uh, don't really require flushing. The engine oil these days is designed to suspend any sludge or build up within the oil itself. Out of curiosity we're going to do a flush today on this car here. It's done 250,000 Ks uh, which is about 150,000 miles in the old money and um, we're going to see what the results are. Uh, there's going to be some samples taken. We're also going to remove the valve cover and have a look inside there both before and after. So the reasons you may want to do an engine oil flush if you've got sludge build up or if you've got some low oil pressure warnings from your ECU then this may help relieve those kind of things. Uh, but there's also a bunch of reasons why you may not want to do a flush. Uh, the main one being uh, if you loosen up that sludge you've got the potential to get them get it either clogged up into your oil galleries um, which is going to cause major damage if that oil is not flowing through where it should be or otherwise you may remove some sludge that was potentially holding a seal together or a gasket together so taking away that sludge may cause an actual oil leak um, but either way we're going to find out um, I'm not too worried about this car so if it if we do break something or, or kill it at least we know not to do it again I'm going to remove the valve cover just to see what the engine looks like now uh, and then we're going to warm it up for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll take an oil sample of the current oil now the current oil has done about 1200 kilometers which is seven eight hundred miles um, so we'll take a sample of that then we're going to add the flush fluid which uh, I just picked up whatever was on special um, so we'll try that out add the flush fluid run the engine again for the 10 to 15 minutes whatever it specifies on the fluid itself and then we'll dump all that oil I'll grab another sample of that oil as we go um, and then after that I'm actually going to refill it up with just some cheap oil that I had laying around um, just to sort of really flush out all that flush fluid and, and anything else that may be in the engine so I'll add that we'll run the engine again and we'll dump that oil I'll also grab another sample there and then finally we'll change the oil filter and just put in some more cheap oil that was on special and then after that we're going to run that for another another 1200 kilometers just so it's at the same sort of age as the current oil that's in there uh, and then we'll take another look inside the valve cover and um, just generally see how the engine's running if it is still even running at that point um, but that's what we're going to find out let's take a peek so all in all it actually looks quite clean it doesn't seem to be any massive build up and actually this gasket looks fairly new so I dare say that was done recently I'll just get you a bit closer so everything looks quite clean in here um, but anyway we'll do the flush and see if we can notice any difference but unfortunately this well fortunately and unfortunately this engine's a bit cleaner than I expected there's a bit of crap on there but it looks quite good anyway so I'll give you a bit of crap down there so that's what it looks like before the flush Uh, 13 degrees so we'll give it 10 minutes I'll leave the microphone here so we can have a listen over that period
glug glug. It is very thin. Looks like water. Once again, I'm gonna put the microphone up near the engine and I think we'll run it for 10 minutes, given that the engine's already warm. up and grab another sample of the oil and dump the rest. All right, so now I'm gonna add the oil that I just had lying around um, just to sort of really flush everything out. Uh, I'll go for a drive and really vary the load and the RPM just to get it all through the engine. And then we'll dump that out and put in our fresh oil and a new filter. The engine is cool again, so it's probably only about 10 degrees again. Uh, so we'll just do another listen as the engine warms up, see if we can spot any differences. Okay, so as you could hear that 10W40 really sort of, you could really hear it flowing around the engine. Um, it did originally have 15W40, so that's what I'm gonna add for the next 1200 Ks, just so we have a decent comparison between the original oil and the current one. And um, yeah, like I said, we'll have another look in 1200 Ks and see what the engine looks like, if it's still running at all. So I'll put this new oil in and we'll warm up the engine again. I'm just going to let it cool um, completely and then we'll warm it up until it reaches operating temperature and um, we'll have another listen to the engine, see if it sounds any different this time. All right, so the engine's now cold again. I'm going to leave the microphone here so we can have another listen. Alright, so there we go, the uh, current oil is now in there. Um, it definitely seemed a lot quieter than the previous run, which was just after we did the flush. So we'll see how it goes for the next 1200 Ks and we'll come back and take a look and see if the engine is still actually running. Um, but before we do that, we'll go and have a look at our oil samples. Okay, so here's our oil samples. This is before we added the flush fluid and doesn't seem to be much in there in fact there's looks like there's an eyelash in there but that's probably not from the engine 
It moves around a little bit, but looks fairly thick. This is the engine oil with the flush fluid in it. Um, so it looks like pretty much everything is completely drained out of there. And it might be a hint runnier, but not by much. Uh, next up we have just our clean oil, so it's just a bit of an idea of what it looked like after we'd ran the flush. And this is the clean oil after 20 Ks, so I went for a drive for about 20 minutes and tried to vary the load quite a bit. And yeah, it also looks quite thin, but given that it's a different oil from what was originally in it, um, that may explain why you could hear a lot more of that oil moving around uh, inside the engine when we ran it before. Um, but obviously running it this time, it didn't sound anything near as menacing. So that's about it for now. Obviously check back in a couple of weeks time um, as we'll have some more results. Um, but until then, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification button so you get informed when that video comes up. But until then, we'll see if this thing actually lasts another 1200 Ks. At this point, I wouldn't recommend anyone doing an engine oil flush, um, simply because it doesn't really seem to do any good from what I've found. I mean, it may obviously differ with an older engine uh, that's possibly been running a lot older oil and had a lot more build up, but on a modern engine with modern oil, uh, like I said at the start, they're designed uh, to suspend any sludge or anything within the oil, so it all comes out when you do an oil change. So as long as you're regularly doing an oil change, uh, there's not really any point in doing this. But as I said, this was more just to see what results we'd have using this kind of stuff. As always, thanks for watching this Wikipedia. Um, definitely leave me a comment down below if you think there's anything else that I should look at. Um, but until next time, see you later.